Hey up everyone, welcome to the History Football Channel. Today I'll be doing a video not on a forgotten ground, not on a lost ground or a former football ground, but today I'm going to be doing a video very similar to me video on Blackburn Olympic and that's going to be on Darwin Football Club. The original Darwin Football Club which existed from 1870 to 2009. Darwin was founded in 1870 and originally played rugby football as well as cricket. It adopted association rules in 1875. Darwin was the first club from Northern England to achieve any success in the FA Cup, reaching the quarter-finals in 1879. They caused controversy in this competition by signing two professional players, Fergie Souter and Jimmy Love, both from Pardick Thistle, a Scottish club based in Glasgow. This is believed to be the first involvement of professional players in English football. One London club at the time proposed that no side which does not consist entirely of amateurs as defined by the rules to be drawn up by the committee be entitled to compete in the FA Cup competition. The motion was defeated and Darwin travelled down to the Oval to play the great amateur side Old Etonians in the quarter-final. They needed to make the journey three times, drawing five all in the first game and two all in the second one. In the third match they lost six goals to two. An FA Cup regulation of the time ruled that the final three rounds of the competition were to be played in London. This was changed following Darwin's experiences in 1879 and entries were subsequently grouped by region. Two years later in 1881, Darwin went one better and reached the semi-finals of the FA Cup. They beat Romford 15 goals to nil in the quarter-final. In 1891, Darwin were elected to the Football League as it was expanded to 14 teams. League rules meant that teams couldn't have the same coloured kits and as Notts County had already taken black and white stripes, Darwin adopted a salmon pink top from which their nickname, the Salmoners, originated. In March 1892, they lost 12 goals to nil against West Bromwich Albion in the F Football League First Division and this winning margin has never been surpassed in the league's top division, although it was equal to 909 when Nottingham Forest beat Leicester Foss by the same score. Darwin finished bottom of the league in their first season and were relegated to become founding members of the second division. They were the first club to suffer an in-league relegation. Ironically, their 14th place finished in the Football League that year remains the highest ever place in, in the Football League pyramid. In 1893, they finished in third place and were promoted back to the first division, but they were relegated once again in 1894. They remained in the second division until 1899 when they did not reapply for a re-election. They had spent eight seasons in the league, two of them in the top flight. During their final season as a football league club, Darwin suffered 18 consecutive defeats. This remains a record, although Sunderland narrowly avoided equaling it in 2003 by losing 17 consecutive league matches. They also set a record for the most goals conceded by a team in any Football League season with 141. After leaving the Football League, the club was placed in voluntary liquidation, but was quickly replaced by a new club run by a committee. The new club joined the Lancashire League. It was also in 1899 that they moved from Barleybank to the Anchor Ground, after the owner of Barleybank, the Lord of the Manor, refused to offer the club a new lease. In 1901, Darwin entertained Woolwich Arsenal in the FA Cup. However, they lost the match two goals to nil. Darwin had refused Arsenal's offer of £150 to switch the tide of London and 7,000 fans crammed into the anchor ground to watch the game. In 1902, they won the Lancashire League title, remaining undefeated all season. Two years later, they joined the Lancashire Combination and played in this league for the following 70 year, apart from a break during and immediately after World War I. In the early 1930s, Darwin won five trophies in three year, and in the 1931-1932 FA Cup, they defeated Football League side Chester in front of a crowd of 10,000 at the anchor ground. Their opponents in the next round were Arsenal. Darwin lost the match 11 goals to 1, but Arsenal were so impressed with Lancashire sportsmanship that they presented their visitors with a set of their own red strip, which Darwin have more or less since the game won thereafter. The club reached the first round of the FA Cup in the following four seasons. In the 1970s, the club joined the Cheshire County League 
and six years later in 1982 they became founding members of the North West Counties League. On the 22nd of December 2003, Carlsberg technically tried to wind up Darwin Football Club. The club avoided liquidation on that occasion. On the 14th of April 2008, another wind up position was brought by the B radio station in respect to £8,000 owed for advertising. Plans were made for Blackburn with Darwin Council to buy the anchor ground. Following two further petitions for liquidation brought by Thwaites Brewery and ING Lease UK and their refusal of an offer of 25p in the pound on the 14th of May 2009, the Darwin Football Club was wound up in the High Court. The 134-year existence of Darwin therefore ceased to exist. A successor club called AFC Darwin was formed in May 2009 and they joined the West Lancashire League. In June 2022, AFC Darwin took on the name of the fallen Darwin Football Club. During the early decades of their existence, Darwin had a fierce rivalry with Blackburn Rovers, with many of their games being dogged by crowd trouble between both sets of fans. The rivalry became increasingly bitter, especially after Fergie Suter left Darwin in order to join Blackburn in Eden Eady. The teams played each other eight times competitively, with Blackburn winning seven of those matches and Darwin winning just the once. The rivalry died down with the rise of Blackburn and the fall of Darwin, with the two teams not meeting again. The rivalry is notable because Ewood Park and Anchor Ground are only 1.5 miles away from each other. Some notable players that played for Darwin. There were four players that earned England caps while playing for the club. William Brindle earned two caps. Joseph Marsden earned one cap. And Thomas Marshall and Thurston Rostron both earned two caps. The club also was player managed by Joe Smith, who went on to guide Blackpool to the FA Cup final victory in 1953. In 2020, the club, their signing of Fergus Souter, and their rivalry with all the Tonians was the basis of the English game, a series on Netflix. So that is my video on Darwin Football Club, the original Darwin that existed from 1878 to 2009. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, the club were around for a very long time. Unfortunately, they got wound up, but now the successor is playing in the Northwest Counties Football League. And uh, this year or last year, they finished 17th out of 19 sides. So um, another thing as well is that the successor to the Darwin Football Club still play at the same ground, the anchor ground there in Darwin. So once again, this has been History of Football. Thanks for tuning in. I'm looking to be doing more of these videos in the future. So stay tuned for those. Thanks to everyone that's recently subscribed to the channel. It means a lot. And if you are on social media, you can go and check me out. I've got Facebook, TikTok and Instagram pages. And I'll put a link in the description below for those. And I also have a, a Rugby League history page as well. If you like Rugby League, I'll put a, the links in the description below for those uh, pages. But anyways, this has been History of Football. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. All right, tatty bye.